Word spread fast on social media and on our news that an Army veteran was about to go to his grave alone. That didn't happen because you did, you would not allow that to happen. Here's what happened today. WMAR is a proud, proud voice to be voice for our veterans. And today, close to 500 strangers came out to make sure that Captain Philip Brown was not alone. Turn up the quiet. He's a fellow vet. We're all, we're all brothers. Even the birds stopped chirping out of respect. So brave and not to have anyone at his funeral just broke my heart. From eyes that could not hold back the tears to those who swallowed hard to get through this. Remember the fallen and that's what we're doing here today. They left their lives behind today to be with the man they never knew. When I heard that they did not have family to come out, I said, I have to go. I need to go and pay my respects. I don't want people to ever forget the service of Captain Brown. Captain Philip Brown served in the Army from 1966 to 1980. He went to Vietnam and then he retired in Havity Grace. No veteran was sent home uh, unaccompanied. And that's why the American Legion, American Legion Riders, and American Legion Auxiliary, basically American Legion family, stepped up. When news of Captain Brown's burial started breaking last week, Art Simon called me to say, he was the one who saw five Amazon boxes at the captain's front door, then 13, then 25 boxes. I knew he was sickly and up in age and had nobody to care for him, so I went right down to the police station. The last time Art saw the captain was when Papa John's had a two-for-one deal and the captain had 15 pizza boxes trying to cross Pulaski Highway. When I got here today and to see all of his brothers at arms and sisters at arms here and so many pages, my heart overflowed. You see this flag flapping? Jim found it in the trash in Frederick. It was in a big pile of trash and that basically set us off uh, in a very bad direction. We were grumpy. He made it a Boy Scout project to restore it and bring it to life at funerals like today. Fire. Fire. And his mom's not here, but I can stand in place with his mom. And that's, you know, being a mom, she's not here, but I can be that mother. And after 13 folds of the flag, the stars and stripes were handed over to the man who found the Amazon boxes. I never expected it, but I just felt that he deserved to be uh, buried with military honors because he served the country. A tremendous day to prove we are good people. Captain Brown, your family salutes you. 500 people for a stranger. Nobody knew him. We didn't even have a picture of him. Captain Brown was 74 years old and uh, noticed that there was no casket. He was cremated, but still five. And the crowd just kept coming. They came from Kent Island. They came from Western Maryland. They came from... Well, that shows the positive of social media, hearing about his story and how everybody came together just, to say goodbye. Just incredible. Showing incredible how much goodness. his service was appreciated. The, the Baltimore Cemetery, the National Cemetery, did an incredible job. And again, when, when we have veterans who die without families, this is what they do. They invite the public, and the public came out today, didn't they? Great story.